Hey, Terry, rumor has it that the warriors trying to get into your social networking party over there are being shut out. What's up with that, brother? That's okay, man. Me and the warriors, we're going to make our way through the wall. <laughs> Another day in the life where you have a choice. Will you love it or will you hate it? Warrior men, what's your passion? My passion is fucking passion. Intensity for life, whatever you do. Kill them! What is not for you is against you. What is against you? is your fucking enemy, and you need to kill it. Your fears, your doubts, your lack of confidence, your lack of belief in a destiny, a certain, absolute destiny. You have to do something unique and great on this planet while you are here. Anything that stands in the way of that, any Mr. Resistance, no matter the stature, of that motherfucker, you need to kill him. The weekend is a time to go to work on becoming comfortable with killing. Today is the day. Today is the day you start building your own wall of bodies. Like in the movie Spartan 300, where they built the wall of the dead bodies the sacrifices. Today you build yours. Put the first body in your own wall of bodies. A man, a real man, a real warrior has no other choice but to step up. If you're walking on the street late at night and you're with your family and a group of thugs approach you, what are you going to do, turn and run and leave your family there to defend themselves? Or are you going to reach down inside of yourself and squash your fears and fight even if it leaves you dead? Crazy, right? Silly ass idea. Fucking madman that warrior is. Nobody else would ever do that. And that's why. They call all those others nobodies. Be somebody in your fucking life. Warriors use their time. They don't waste it. This weekend, walk until you find yourself. Find who you are supposed to be. Because believe me, when the doctor says so, he means it. Your heart is beating in rhythm with the tick-tock of time. And time always runs into the future. It never runs back. The face of time always goes forward. You have within you, right now, everything you need to live a great life. The tools lie within. Quit looking outside of yourself. Quit looking for someone else's hand to hold. Take your fingers and clinch it into a fist and go out there and start pounding your own unique path in life. Start kicking your own ass. And then go out there and conquer a chunk of the fucking world that's got your name written all over it. Rule or be ruled. People ask me what warrior 
What are you passionate about? It finally came to me years ago. You know what I'm passionate about? I'm passionate about fucking passion. I'm passionate about intensity. You can do whatever you want to do, but you have to take control. You have to make decisions and you have to do the work. If you want to be big in your body or a big success in any other way in your life, don't ask people how to do it. See, you were created with this really special tool, your mind. All us human beings have one. It makes you capable of learning anything, any place, anywhere, anytime. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are now. It doesn't matter who your relatives are. It doesn't matter your ancestry. It doesn't matter what possessions you have, what kind of wealth you have, financial wealth you have doesn't matter what kind of schooling you got or didn't get. You can learn anything. You can learn any knowledge. You will just take a breath, sit down, put forward the effort, make the time. And you will be able to succeed at life on your own terms. And that is the only way only way to wake up every day and say, man, this is fucking awesome. No matter what happens today, I'm alive. It's fucking awesome. My fucking life having it, man, is awesome. And sometimes the only way to go about doing the work is get fucking raw and get fucking intense. Get angry and aggressive and make it fucking happen for yourself. To own your life. To own your life. There is something special about being alive. start today. I don't care when your life clock started ticking. You can start fucking right now today. If it's 4.15 a.m. in my world, and you're on the East Coast and it's 6.15 a.m. and you're already up and you're already dragging ass, by 6.16 you can change your fucking perspective of the world and of your life. My advice Fucking do it. Dig fucking deep and get it done. Do the work of your life. You're lost. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. Here's one of my strategies. When it gets dark, go out and walk all fucking night hunting for yourself. The classical philosophers of old said this about the battlefield. They said out of every hundred men, ten of them should not even be there. Eighty of them are just targets. Nine of them are the real fighters. I make for 99. And of the one, they said of the one, ah, oh, he is a warrior. There are two doors. And there are thundering knocks at each one. Find one lies your destiny. The greatness that you came here to fulfill in your life. And behind the other lies death. The critics, the naysayers, the soldiers of Mr. R. They bitch whine and complain. They warn warrior men. Tone down the intensity. We don't want you to have a heart attack. Life is not worth living without passion, without intensity. 
the experts, the gurus in health and fitness, they will tell you that rest and recovery, eight to 10 hours sleep a night is what you need. Let me do something different. Let me be blunt with you. None of those fucking triple chin, pudgy belly, pasty faced motherfuckers can groom the groin hairs on a warrior. Rest and recovery for a warrior is to go to work, to build, to recharge the body, mind, and soul. This injection is gonna burn, burn, baby, burn. Some of you are even gonna taste it in the back of your throat. Fairness is not taking from those who do and giving it to those who don't. Entitlements are the antithesis to responsibility. Why any sane human being would want to depend on the handouts for mothers is beyond me. Expecting that you should get something for nothing is absolute bullshit. Fairness is only an equal opportunity to the freedom to go out and make your life happen on your own. No one owes you anything. This world owes you jack shit. Nothing. Nobody owes you anything. And the sooner you get that straight in your head, the better off your life will be. If the first thought you have in the morning is can't, then you damn sure won't. And if you won't, you own it. You own that fucking mess. Nobody else does. It's your life. It's your choice. Use it or waste it. Get up off your ass. Do the work. Do your work. Make something happen with your life. But I want to get the most out of my fucking life. And if you can't summon up the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm for something, then you're just, your life every day is going to be a drag to wake up to. We come here unique in the way we are from all the other six billion human beings on the planet because we're supposed to do something unique in our lives. And about being intense or being passionate about something in your life, having intensity once in a while in your life, I can only tell you that if you don't engage intensity or passion in your life, then you aren't living your life to its fullest. I had a guy write me today and said that he felt Mr. Resistance breathing down his neck like a fiery hell and he beat it back with a baseball bat. Well, here's my advice. Train your fucking forearms extra, extra hard. You're gonna need the power in your forearms to keep a stiff grip on that baseball bat. And fuck swinging for the fences. Swing for the deepest, darkest recesses of hell and knock resistance back where it fucking belongs. You came here with the tools and the instincts to control your life. It's time for you to quit putting the responsibility off. It's time for you to step up and do the work and do the job. Tomorrow is not just another day in your life. It's the next day in an it does matter life. But what philosophy of life you hold about what you are capable of controlling and doing in life um, is going to and has taken you to exactly the place where you are in your life. And I just don't get it how people aren't passionate or intense or excited or enthusiastic about that opportunity every day to be able to do that, to be able to control where you go, what quality of life you have. A lot of you have been influenced and surrounded by other adults 
who make fun of people who are intense or passionate or passionate about their life. And that's unfortunate because you've taken it to heart and mind and you're afraid of engaging it yourself. Not just in exercise, but in everything you do. Intensity, passion for something will outdo, will win out over knowledge, skills, talent, natural talent, natural gifts, every single time. Not that that stuff is not important, but there are many examples throughout history of people simply because they were intense, intense in an unusual, sometimes off-putting way, aggressive, assertive, determined to do what they had in their mind to do. They make monuments to those people. Go out there, unleash that fucking warrior beast inside. Show me, inspire me, inspire the old warrior man. Show me what all that hard training and preparation while channeling the intensity factor of my ultimate warrior persona. Show me what it's all worth. I mean, we didn't make the world the way it is. It's filled with alternatives. It always will be. Until we aren't here anymore, it will always be alternatives. There will always be the good, there will always be the bad. There will always be the beautiful, there will always be the ugly. There will always be the uh, excellent, and there will always be the incompetent. There will always be what is wonderful and what is horrible. We didn't make the rules of the world. So fighting against that, that fact, that axiomatic truth, that the world is created of alternatives, is just a waste of energy. But spending your energy, on your choices that you make every day is where the secret lies, is where the worthiness lies, is where the value in life lies. Hey warriors, I know how you feel. You went to bed last night, had all these ideas about how you're going to get up this morning. It's going to be different. Things are going to be different. The day you're going to start, start taking steps towards doing some of those projects and you know that will get you closer to living that dream life you keep playing over and over in your head. Different from the practical life that you've got to get up and meet every day. To go to the cubicle infested world and work a job just to pay the bills. Put gas in the gas tank to take you places where you don't really want to go to be around people you don't enjoy being around. Put groceries in a refrigerator Groceries that keep you fat and lazy, keep you away from being healthy and fit in your life. Pay the mortgage on a house that doesn't inspire you, it's just a nuisance and you hate coming home to. What the fuck are you doing? Every morning you wake up, there are two doors. And there are thundering knocks at each one of them. Behind one lies your destiny and living. Behind the other lies death. Being alive, having breath, your heart pumping blood, you being able to see through your eyes, that's not living, that's being alive. Living is engaging your life with intensity and passion at some point in time. At least at some point in time, even for a little bit of time, every day. Well, I don't have 10 fucking principles for success. What I have to sell you on is you. I want you to be sold on yourself. You're the one with the greatness inside of you already. I want you to be greater than me. I'm not standing on some pedestal pounding my fucking chest that I want you to be like me. I want you to be like you. I want you to be all of you. That's what I want you to do and you should take your life serious you should take this opportunity seriously and not compromise the potential for a great life that you have within you I do not understand why people choose to piss all over the greatness they have within them you men an intruder breaks in your house what are you going to compromise? You're going to make a compromise? 
You gonna say to the intruder, you know, you can, you can, you can touch my wife's breast, but you can't lay between her legs. When they go into the bedroom where your children are sleeping, you can say you can cut one finger off each hand, but you can't cut the whole hand off. Why am I passionate the way I am? Why did I go to the fucking place? Because that's the place you gotta go if you want to get things done. There is no other choice. There is no other option. Until you make it a habit, and then you can become a little bit more calm about it. The difference between you and I, Ogan, lies in our belief systems. I believe in the power of the individual. You believe in the mentality of the pack. I believe in the spirit of warrior within all of us. You believe in steering an unfocused vision that rewards no one and belittles all. Oh, one warrior nation is a concept, Ogan, for the next generation. The warrior generation. A concept built on the idea of taking control of those aspects in your life. Fulfilling that one destiny you have. And it's time to quit indulging in activities and behaviors that only make you look like an idiot and only turn you into a fat ass. Today, warriors, is the day to stop living vicariously through the lives of others you consider to be heroes and start engaging your own self-discipline, your own self-denial, your own sacrifice. Become the one-of-a-kind hero I am absolutely positive lies in the design in every one of your lives. Go out there tonight and be the fucking ultimate warrior. Show that intensity that makes you different from everybody else. And neither be embarrassed or ashamed about it. Be proud. And for me, for this old warrior man, pound that fucking pride. Let me see it. When you crawl out from underneath those covers and you swing your legs over the edge of the bed, don't sit there with your head and your shoulders slumped over and your chest caved in. Stick your chest and your chin straight out and welcome the first full blow of the day. Say, bring it fucking on because I'm going to kick your ass the rest of the day. So you better make it your best fucking shot. There are no coincidences in life, Tom. Everything is part of a destiny. And your destiny has brought you to exactly where you should be at this point in time in your life. You are fully capable, fully ready, all the way ready to step up and fulfill these new leadership responsibilities that have been placed on your broad shoulder. And you need to do so without any doubt, without any insecurity. Do so in a bold, brazen way. People write me all the time asking me for training advice. Guy on Facebook did last night. I responded in my, with my typical answer. Get to a gym, get in it, shut up and train. I'm trying to give you the truth. Get in there specifically about a gym and exercising your body. Get in there and start doing something. Quit running around asking people for answers you'd like to hear, or answers that further confuse you. You can keep asking people all day long, can you give me some exercise advice? Eventually, if you really want to do it, and you can't stand it anymore, you can't stand your physical condition anymore, you're going to have to get the equipment, go to a gym, and you're going to have to start moving on it, moving it around. When I say to people, go to the gym and move heavy stuff around, they think that's an idiotic answer. It's the simplest, most truthful answer I can give you. Move it around. When that heavy stuff you start with gets to be easy to move around, throw more heavy shit on it and keep moving it around. Shut up and train. Listen to your body. Your body will tell you what you need to do. You will open a desire to want to learn more and because of that you will learn more that we are each born with a soul print 
to fulfill a unique destiny. Children, hold on to that belief until the day comes that their influence and their spirit is tarnished by some adult who has stopped believing in his own destiny and has plugged himself in to the regular, everyday, mediocre happening of life. Ultimate Warrior represents something about always striving to be the best at what you can do. And I was succeeding by engaging at the highest level all that creativity, all that imagination, all that self-belief, all that confidence, all that intensity, all that go for it all except nothing less, all that put everything on the line in everything that you do, listen to your gut instincts, listen to the destiny inside of you and it will tell you and guide you in what you are supposed to do. You were listening when you were little. I was an adult and I was doing it and I was succeeding more than even other adults. But we're doing other respectable professional things. And the lesson I got out of that was, by the time I got out of wrestling, I knew to never doubt it anymore. I knew to never doubt my inner voice. I knew to never doubt my gut instincts. That I was to continue to do something unique in my life. And not just follow what other people were doing. That I was to do and create something I had a passion for. Not just do like other people to collect a paycheck and pay the bills. Every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe their final breath. And if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others, it makes them bleed deeper in something than larger than life, then his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized by the storytellers, by the loyalty, by the memory of those who honor him and make the running the man did live forever. It's a real simple question, warriors. Who's going to inspire the warrior man? 3 a.m. in my world. And I have already smoked your ass! The old warrior man, 52 years on this planet, 25 years beyond the days when I jacked your ass to planets that didn't even exist, and I'm still smoking your fucking ass! You need a full blown dose, an injection of inspiration. A full syringe's worth of an injection of inspiration. Relax. You're only going to feel a pinch. Your choice. You can eat your bowl of Cheerios this morning, or you can go hungry, and you can get intense and start owning your life. One. Warrior Nation, choose your own fucking medicine. But tomorrow the fight starts again. It starts anew every day. If you want to succeed in life, if you really believe that you have a destiny to fulfill, and your goal is to fulfill it, then every day you get up step by step, brick by brick you build it, punch by punch you take your life back for Mr. Resistance. Mr. Resistance will be there every morning, morning, noon, and night. And while you were sleeping, riding your ass, kicking your ass, unless you turn around and you start throwing punches. But don't make the mistake 
that today is just another day on the calendar because it's not. Today is another moment in the potential history and legacy of the great, incredible, one-of-a-kind life you came here to live. But to do that, you're going to have to do the work and you're going to have to make the best use of your time. Apparently there's been a misunderstanding in some ways because masturbating your fantasies is not the same thing as mastering your fucking life. And you're built with all the tools to make it happen on your own, to figure things out for yourself, not to be on the hook to other people, not to be led around by the nose by other people, to sit down and do the work. Part of the responsibility that comes with life is doing the fucking work. And it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. It's hard. Get rid of the silly, cheap-ass, superficial thoughts and ideas that you entertain. Focus on what your purpose is, what your goals are. Focus on the dreams you have that you want to fulfill in your life. Get rid of everything else. Get rid of the fantasies. Shit can the people in your life that aren't supporting you, that don't contribute to it in a positive, meaningful way. Now, actually I've been doing some training over the last few weeks. No, not, not over training, training over. Training over the punk ass, sissy ass, pussy ass, over training theories put forward by pansy ass personal trainers who have never in their whole lives put one good hard fuck up on the scoreboard. And today, all you hear is discussion about how to find an easy way, a comfortable fucking way to do what needs to be hard. Instead of that kind of shit, why don't you work on engaging a love for what is hard and difficult and challenging? Try that. Try that shoe on and see if it fucking fits before you become a fucking slave, an absolute moronic slave to all this bullshit and nonsense out there about that you better be careful because you can overtrain. Mental toughness is many things and it is rather difficult to explain. Its qualities are sacrifice and self-denial. Also, most importantly, it is combined with a perfectly disciplined will that refuses to give in. It is a state of mind. You could call it character in action. Those are Vince Lombardi's words. And you better believe me that inside each and every one of you, there lies a character, a character that you've had since the day you were born that is ready to be called into action. There lies within you a will that can be perfectly disciplined, to be strong in a way that it never gives in, it never gives up. It's waiting for your attention, that will and that character. It's your life, it's your choice. Use it, or waste it. It absolutely fucking matters. You know what my bottom line goal with One More Your Nation is? Is to have everybody out there realize that there is something better for you to do with your time than even being here. Right now, I am Mr. Resistance. I'm distracting you from doing the work you need to do. Get the fuck out of here and do the work. Quit wasting time. A great life, greatness is not given. It is beaten out of oneself. And the greatest resource you have to use is your time. 
Euripides said, there is just one life for each of us, our own. And it matters that you do the work, use the time you have to own yours. And let's make this the best of years. Every year your life should get better, not worse. It should get better, 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 better. Always believe, warrior.